Welcome to Mount Zion Carnation Ministries, the arena of the supernatural, where supernatural is natural. Our vision is to bring Christ's abundant life, knowledge, and hope to Inanda, then to the whole world, in the form of preaching, teaching, holistic gospel, healing, deliverance, counseling, training, and discipleship. Here we go. At Mount Zion Carnation Ministries, Jesus is Lord. That single belief calls us together as a community and sends us into our world with hope and purpose. At Mount Zion Carnation Ministries, your past will never define your future. There is always redemption, which means there is always a brighter day. At Mount Zion Carnation Ministries, we do not think that we are better than any other church out there. We are just doing our best to become our best. At Mount Zion Carnation Ministries, we want you to believe in God, but also we want you to know that God believes in you. We are not against any people who do not attend church anywhere. Instead, we pursue them with love, the very same love that is pursuing us. At Mount Zion Carnation Ministries, we are committed to serve God and people. We take ownership and account for our decisions, answerable or accountable as for something within one's power. We do what we say we will do. We are learning to serve God with all our hearts and we are learning to worship Him with all our lives. And if you are looking for the perfect church, we are not it. At Mount Zion Carnation Ministries, we will make mistakes, but we will choose to grow from them. At Mount Zion Carnation Ministries, we are part of a global community that is knit together by the resurrection of Jesus. And by the way, at Mount Zion Carnation Ministries, we believe that really happened too. At Mount Zion Carnation Ministries, we will engage with people who are in real need because we are the hands and feet of Christ. And finally, we need you to hear this loud and clear. At Mount Zion Carnation Ministries, it's not really our church at all, but it is His, and we live and move and breathe in His church for His glory and fame, and not for ours. So there's the invitation. You are invited to jump in with your whole heart, at your own pace, and experience the life that awaits you in Christ. Friends, this is going to be good. Welcome to Mount Zion Carnation Ministries. From Dr. Swanem Somi and Tabisilam Somi. You are a perfect man. How many of us are perfect? I don't mean perfect. I don't mean you don't but sin. But the matter that you are matured. You will just laugh But you won't offend by the words that are said Yet you are bold yourself So that you will reach Because if you stumble, That means you are a child you are not a perfect man. If a person will tease you, and then you worship. While we are worshiping, we are th thinking about the presence. You can't even worship. God. You are offended. You have stumbled. You have stumbled by something that someone has spoken to you. But the Bible says if a person is not being stumbled by any word, that person can you are bad, you won't even say it. And you will just laugh. Because you know that that person doesn't have a key to open the heaven. That is why I say, mind your own business. Because you will reach You won't reach heaven. Amen. If you will there are people, there are people be, with you, be with you who want to make you if they know that you are easily then they will do it more. 
Whether they have spoken or not, you need to continue embarking. Whether they have heard it or not, you need to embarking. We wouldn't be preaching because they speak Sometimes they speak but to people, they Ask you, did you hear? No, I won't speak. You will preach in season. You will preach in season. I'm waiting for the work that God has given you. I won't stop praying just because I won't stop praying. That is where I will be born. And I have mouth to speak. To speak, I also have mouth to speak. You won't shut my mouth as I didn't shut yours. Do you hear me, brother? As I hear the word of God, it is clear when I hear the insult, it defiles me. When I hear lies, it when I hear the truth, it liberates me. Everything that I hear, it does something to me. There's nothing that I hear that does Nothing that I hear that does Whatever that I hear, if I hear lies, it's binding. When I hear it's free. When I hear lies, it's making me When I hear poison, when I hear poison, it's making me sick. When I hear it heals me. I cannot hear anything. I cannot hear anything. And I want to hear because whatever that you speak in a man, it have power whether I've prayed or not but the tongue have power that is why that whatever that I speak it shall come to pass I don't need to shout or say it's repeated but when I say come out of her then the demon comes out when I say I bind yet it is bound when I say I heal you, then you be sure you heal. When I say I bless you, you are sure you bless you. I don't need to say that you bless you. Once I say it bless you, this thing leaves you. And then it will do the work. Once I say once I stand by you, I wait for you. It won't come back to me before. I am like you. Whatever I speak, I speak like him. When I speak, I speak. I know how to sow. And I know how to work. 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 I resemble the king. I speak while I'm in the dark. I speak things when I'm in the church. And things will come to pass. When I worship him, he resides on my worship. When I speak, I speak like him. 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 When Many people they don't know the power of time. Whether we've prayed or not, this thing is powerful. Whether we have fasted or not, this thing is powerful. It has been given power above all the organs of the body. I believe that as you come out, you will feel the power of time. So that you will stop speaking amiss. There are things that you know even though I walk in the shadow of the Lord's death. You will go and say God you are with me. You said you are not with me. You will be with me. Yes inside you are with me. Yes you are with me. But you don't speak it out. Because greater is the one who is in me. 
There are things that we don't speak out with our tongue. Because we, want them to see us. Because we don't want them to understand. We don't want them to understand us. They need to die inside us. I say keep. We don't speak it out. Say keep. Because once we speak it say out, sign. it's as if we are signing them. There are things that the devil is talking about. He doesn't even know whether they got you or not because you are hidden in Christ Jesus. He will throw it to because you because it does not see you. There is the one whom you are hidden when he is throwing it. It's like it is Jesus. He will see you. He will hear you shouting. But if you don't say anything, he doesn't even know that he's beaten you. Because your life is hidden together with Christ. You are hidden in Christ and in God. When the devil attacks you, he says Jesus before you. It is not you who is leading the way. He is the one who is leading you. In the great waters is your in the fairness of fire in his heart. In the den of fire you are not the one who is visible, but he, he answers first. He is inside, awaiting for you. When you, you cry, you are the one who is being heard crying. But if you keep quiet, we don't just cry like this. When things are crazy, we don't just cry. When things are crazy, we don't just scream. When things are bad, because we we are invisible. I am hidden. I am hidden. I am dwelling under the blood. I am dwelling under the moon. I'm in the heart. I am hidden. Where I live, I live in Jesus. You cannot get me like anything The salvation made me to come out of ancestry and get into heaven. The, the witches should know that you cannot get me easily. You cannot get me easily. Hands me. You won't get me like that I cannot my life is Christ. in Christ with God. Do you hear this? My life is hidden in Christ with God. Amen. My life, you cannot get it easily. We are releasing those who are listening to us on the If you want to hear this sermon, listen to car radio or watch us on Facebook. 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 That's why when you slap me, I give you another thing. You don't know the impact when you hit at me for the first time. That is why the Bible is to give you another one. Because when you slap me, you don't even know whether you slap me or Jesus or Father. Jesus, when he returned, he said, Saul, sorry, why Saul are you persecuting me? Saul thinks he was persecuting Christ, not knowing that he was Christ. The devil thinks he attacks you when he attacks you. When he attacks you it was counted There are things when they happened to you, it was over and it was finished on the cross. That is why we don't cry easily. When you slap me, I will give you another thing. Why are you giving another one? Did he hear the slap? Why I slap him on the other and they give me the I take the shirt and they give me the coat. 
because they won't understand. I don't know if you hear me. Let me tell you, brethren. We don't just scream like anyhow. Why do you make us to go one mile and we go an extra mile? And mile? This is so what did this is We are confusing the enemy. Do you hear me, brother? Do you hear what I'm saying? Where I am, where I live, where I reside, I am hidden. If it was about the wishes, the witches I would have died. But because I live, if it was about the devil, I should have died long time ago. But look where I am. If it was about my enemies, I would have been burned. I would have been in a shame. But look where I am. Others they hear me when I say that what is the reason? Because I don't give the compliment or giving an enemy the compliment. There are other things that you do not talk about. We say, Father, forgive me them. They don't know. We count the words. We don't just speak like that. We don't say it carefully. But we will keep quiet even we are being pierced. And they will. They have bruised us, but I won't speak my pain. Yes, they have pierced me, but mm, I won't speak my pain. They've put the snail on my hand, but I won't speak my pain. And all the words, you know, he kept quiet. He was like a sheep. It's not everything where I will just scream or cry. Please still know that I am everything where I will just scream or cry. We don't shout all the time. There is a point where we just keep quiet. Not because not he, can he can see, but then he he is he is able. whatever we say, he is able. He's able. He's able. He's able. He is able. He's able. He's able. He's able. He's able. He has power to take us out. Of the dead, but we are still and know. You see the tongue? It is the pen to write quickly. I don't just endorse like everything. When there's something that poked me, oh, then I will scream and say there's something that is poking me. If it pokes me, praise the Lord. We understand. Because I don't want to give it to that whatever you throw at me, it works. It's just the smaller thing. That, and now I'll, I'll let the whole world know about it. I will show you how powerful is the tongue. Now, if we put the horses' uh, bridles into their mouths that they may obey us, we turn about their whole body also. Oh, mage sifaga amadomo emilonye ni yamahashi ukuba asilalele sikondi sanom zimba wonke wawo. Behold, verse 4, the ships also through they are so great and are driven by rough winds are yet turned about by a very small rudder whether the impulse of the steersman willeth. Begani nemikumbi inga aganje ikutwa imimoya ena manja ikondiswa ngepini elinginyane lapo umshayeli efuna ugu ikondisa kona. Just imagine that Kabangaj. how great is the ship. Ugutu mkumbi mkulu ganga ganani. But it's being controlled by smaller nyana thing. Gota nje ukutwa ipini elinganyana. Small steering wheel. It controlled the massive ship. Heavy ship. 
being controlled by a small thing. Just imagine a ship that is equivalent to this one. But where it is being controlled, control is steering. It is a steering of this size. It is being turned a great, a massive ship. It is being controlled with a steering. It is big. control but it is being controlled by the small thing Ganja saw the tongue also about verse four five verse five here yes. saw the tongue also is a little member and boasted great things behold how much is the kindled by how small a fire Lunja lo no lima, Louis Sito Esingane, Ganti, Luya Zikabi Sagakulu, Begani Umli lo Umnane Uvutisa Ilazi Elingaga. Ho Utiganja lo no lim. Likewise, the tongue, Luya Zikabi, it is boastful. Ogun tint. Touch me, you will see. Uzo bon fara no ban. Gushon, you will see. Umzakia no fishanyan. You will suffer the consequences. Ushes Korenes Nagaya. The little one saying to the gigantic person. David, David the 17 year old, was saying this to Goliath. He said, I will chop off your head. The tongue it is boastful. <laughs> it walking with like. <laughs> it means <laughs> the speak great things. <laughs> yes, it is so tiny. Inside it is so tiny. But it is boastful. We think it will attack you very badly. <laughs> Behold, how much is the kindle by how small a fire? And others, the tongue, as small as it is, it can ignite the bush. When you ignite the fire, you use the matches. Look how tiny it is. It is even smaller than your finger. But it is able to set alight the fire for the whole bush. Setting alight the whole bush, the small fire. I'm going somewhere. Verse 7, man. Verse 6. Verse 6. And the tongue is a fire. <whistles> tongue is a fire. Tongue, your tongue is a fire. If I want to burn you, I will say fire. You're going to burn. Mess with us. My tongue, your tongue, tongue is a fire. That's what the Bible says. It's not me saying so. Listen, Just read it, Mishan. No, Limi, Lungum, Lilo. The tongue is a fire. Ulimi, Lum, Lilo. It's not like a fire. It is a fire. Oh, come on. Are you getting it? Tongue is a fire. It's not like a fire. It doesn't carry fire. It is a fire. You see, inside of you, there is a fire. On the day of the Pentecost, when the Holy Ghost came, upon their heads, there were cloven tongues of fire. Then they spoke in tongues. Upon their heads, there were cloven tongues of fire. Cloven tongues of fire. Then they spoke in 
Tongues. In other words, the fire inside came upon them. There is a greater fire that came upon them to change the fire inside. In heaven, the cloven of fire and it rested upon their heads. They started to speak in tongues. They speak with tongue, with fire. In other words, the heavenly tongue, they come like a cloven fire. Because within you, within you there is a tongue that is fire. Now the fire must come down, which is the tongue, so that the fire, that is the tongue, that is the tongue will change. It is the fire. The fire that is, that is upward will collide with the fire that is inside. When I was with Conan, you don't know what is no you keep on asking the fire. You keep on asking the fire instead of releasing the fire that is within you. There are so many things that you don't know about you, you. that I wanted to understand. Tongue, it is fire. It is fire on its own. It is able to set at the fire of the whole body. But speaking tongues. The Kuluman was super Pentecost. Speaking in tongue at the end of the world. They were full of fire. Yes, there was um, fire. And the fire was all around. That is fire speaking. Um, lilo, lo, yo, kuluma, yo. When a witch speaks, what he sends, we to, to he sends it through the fire. Because the tongue is the fire. You just speak oh, you keep on burning energy. Everything. That's why when they are burning the incense, they speak. While you are burning it, yet you are burning it even with your tongue. Sometimes a traditional doctor will say, Don't greet anyone. Because they know that once you greet, you will be your, your it will keep on in the crowd. Yet you need to burn it in your bedroom. None believers. They will they will let you pass and keep quiet. They said, I mustn't speak. None believers, they do believe. But we used to speak things. But when you got home, you will forget about it. But you keep on speaking. All they are unnecessary. This, this is the fire. The Samaritan woman burned all the fire. Jesus set a light on her. And she ran around. This is the fire. Don't take this thing lightly. It is so powerful. When we baptize you, you close your mouth. It is not being baptized. It is so stubborn. It is burning. The tongue is burning. It is fire. I'm not the one who says It is James. Verse 6. The world, okay, and the tongue is fire. 
The world of iniquity amongst our members is the tongue. It is not good. It is evil. Yes, you are good your parents. Once you open your mouth, you can not in bed. It stands like a city of iniquity. I'm speaking about you. the tongue on it all. It's like the world. It is a world on its own. It has on its own. State it has its own world of iniquity. Iniquity. Yes, I'm sure, right? <laughs> Are you getting it? The, the tongue is the world of iniquity. It is its own South Africa. No government, the constitution here called. Once it speaks, it have it own. That is one that the Dead of Pentecost should be released so that it is not not be they were given the new tongue. Because it was not going to be good. Do you remember the disciples of Jesus? People they don't want to, they didn't want to listen to Jesus. Disciples said, Jesus, do like Elijah, call fire, and then consume Do you, you what? Send the fire, consume Then when Jesus dies, when a person is born again and yet the tongue is not inside, that person becomes a witch while he or she is a Christian. Yeah. It is the world of iniquity. Hey, my God. Which defiles the whole body. The the it's able to defile the whole body, but it is able to defile the whole body. That is why Jesus said, You have cleansed the whole body. That is why Jesus said, You have cleansed the whole body. That is why You have cleansed the whole body. That is why Jesus said, You have cleansed the whole body. That is why Jesus said, You have the whole body. You have put your body, but the tongue can defile you. Let's treat this smell of irritation. It is the tongue that defiled you. When you come, people will just be annoying. Yes, they have sent the stench of irritation and you will be stinky even if you have put on your perfume. It is able to defile the whole world without being combined with the tongue. The tongue on its own is able to defile you. I'm speaking about the tongue. Do you know what is inside you? The power of the It is so dangerous. It can set alight the hell while you are still on earth. <laughs> 